Hi Gauchos, my name is Irfan. I'm a third year bio major at UCSB. I'm also taking a course called Science for Common Good and with consultation with faculties, me and my peers are making few videos about this pandemic situation to help you guys how to stay safe and protect yourself during these rough times. Alrighty, so for this video, I'm talking about six misleading information about coronavirus that is actually going around our UCSB campus. So I'm going to tell you guys what to do and what not to do. And I honestly hope you enjoyed the video. So let's get right into it. Oh, yeah. So for the first false fact, we have if you hold your breath for 10 solid seconds, then you don't have any infection in your lungs. So technically, you don't have any coronavirus. So I woke up, I think I'm a little bit sick. Um, I think there's a reliable test for Corona. They said like if it's 10 seconds, it's very good um, If you can hold it or not, I don't know. Let's just check it out <sighs> Man, yo, I think I, I think it actually be it um, This this series I got a call man. See you guys This statement is completely wrong most young patients with the coronavirus are able to hold their breath for more than 10 solid seconds. But I don't know what just happened in that scenario you just saw. And for elderly patients that don't have a coronavirus, they may not hold their breath for 10 seconds. So this test is not really for coronavirus, it's rather for capacity of lung. So I would not encourage you to do this test for the second false fact is that if you drink water every 15 minutes your chances of getting coronavirus is drastically lower than other people that don't drink water and this is how people say it works so technically if you drink water and coronavirus it was in your mouth then that coronavirus will lead through your esophagus and go to your stomach and the acid in your stomach is going to kill the virus yo um it's at a 15 minute mark almost I gotta let you go, man. Um, you know, like the thing that says, like, don't get corona if you drink water every 15 minutes. Yeah. All right. Peace, man. This statement is completely wrong again. So even though drinking water is very good for your health, and I highly recommend drinking water regularly throughout the day, but I do not recommend drinking water due to the fact that thinking, oh, you will uh, drink the virus and your stomach acid will kill it. Please do not think that way. That is completely wrong. So for the third false fact is the fact that if I wear gloves, I'm very protected from coronavirus and coronavirus is not going to catch me. Finally, finished cleaning my room. We out here, coronavirus free. I'm a little bit tired though. As you saw, that was not the right thing to do. Touching your face with the gloves that you've been touching around the house or going outside for shopping is not the right thing to do. Gloves are there for your hands so you don't get your hands to touch a lot of surfaces. But they're not the protection gloves of like immunity, like saying like, oh, if I have gloves, I'm not gonna get any diseases. You still can have dirty stuff on your gloves. And if you touch your face, it's the same thing as touching your face with bare hands. So please, please, please do not do that. Fourth false fact is the fact that if I order something from online, and it's shipped from China or it's made in China, it may have coronavirus. Guys, um, I got my new shoes uh, shipped from China. You know, I don't trust like it may have coronavirus, so I'm gonna treat in it like it may have coronavirus. Um, one quick thing you can do is uh, rub alcohol on it. Um, doesn't matter what type, just like rub alcohol. Um, it gets the coronavirus away. This statement is completely wrong. For a package from China, to get to US takes about months to get here from ship or about weeks if it goes plain. And coronavirus does not stay on packages for a while. So don't worry if it's made in China. I can assure you, you're not gonna get coronavirus from packages. Rather, you might get pa uh, coronavirus from sneeze or coughs around the peers. So practice social distancing. That matters most, not packages shipped from China. For the fifth false fact, this one is a little bit interesting one. If you goggle, ethanol, or bleach, you're not gonna get coronavirus because it will destroy the virus that was probably in your mouth. I don't know guys, please pray for me. Uh, it's hard times, I'll pray for you. And hopefully we can get through this. Um, and um, 
Yeah, um, I'll, I'll, I'll turn it off. I mean, you don't want me to see, see me drink bleach. So, like, I'll do it. I'll do it off camera. Nobody wants to see someone drink. So, to you guys. Statement is so, so wrong. I don't know who was the person that said, if you goggle bleach or ethanol will kill the virus. Uh, don't think that way, please. And let's go to the next false fact. And for last false fact is that coronavirus is not gonna hospitalize young patients. Um, yeah, man, so we young, we're not gonna get corona. Uh, like, I myself, I'm 20. There's no way I can get corona. Like, I've been looking at statistics from Reddit like I seen posts from my um, friends out there in the world. They don't. They say we don't. We're not gonna get it. We young people. I trust them. I don't trust the data that CDC does. Like it's fake news. Okay. I don't trust those data, and I believe young people are not gonna get coronavirus. So we chilling. This statement is so wrong. Hundred percent false. Actually, data shows that people aged from 20 to 44 are the second leading of coronavirus cases in the US. And in our actual Santa Barbara community, people that were like around ages 20 to 24, there were a lot of them that got tested positive for coronavirus. Don't think the way that, oh, I'm so young, I'm not gonna catch coronavirus. Coronavirus does not know age. Coronavirus can attack anybody. And so, lastly, I wanna say, please do not party. Do not have friends gathering, um, please, follow the six feet rule and please minimize sexual interaction. I know these are rough times. Uh, we need to get through them and we will get through this hurdle. I'm sure of it uh, if we work together and if we unite during these harsh times. So by that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, and if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe. I'll be posting more regularly and um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.